Delayed sternal closure, or DSC, can be useful for managing potential early complications following cardiac surgery and maintaining access for follow-up procedures. Despite the growing popularity of DSC, limited data exists regarding its outcomes in adults with congenital heart disease. Among adult patients with congenital heart disease who underwent surgery between 1993 and 2023 at the Mayo Clinic, 112 patients received DSC. In this retrospective review, DSC was stratified by greater than 4 days or 4 days or less. The most common indication for DSC in patients with DSC of 4 days or less was coagulopathy, but it was hemodynamic instability in patients with DSC of more than 4 days. Early mortality was 12.5%, but 6.8% in those 4 days or less, compared to 32% in those over 4 days. Delayed sternal closure greater than 4 days was also independently associated with early mortality. Major postoperative complications were more frequently observed in those with DSC of more than 4 days than in those with DSC of 4 days or less. But amongst hospital survivors, there was no difference in late survival between groups. The authors also analyzed the data of patients who underwent cardiac surgery for congenital heart disease over the same study period, but required emergent sternal reopening. In this cohort, sternal reopening was required most often within one day following the initial surgery to address hemodynamic instability or coagulopathy. Overall early mortality in the emergent sternal reopening cohort was much higher at 29.8%. Delayed sternal closure of 4 days or less therefore represents a strategy with low morbidity and mortality that can be useful for adult patients with congenital heart disease undergoing surgery who are at risk for coagulopathy, hemodynamic compromise, and or the potential for requiring emergent reopening.